Hey guys, and welcome to a new Let's Play project. A short little indie game that came out this summer that I really liked. Welcome to Let's Play A Short Hike. It's cute, it's short, and it's very, very relaxing. So, let's get started. And I believe this game was only made by one or two people. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was made by, like, one person and one other person did the music. But here we go. So this is our main character. Her name is Claire. And she's a bird. Yeah, all the um, all the uh, character designs in this game are very Animal Crossing-esque in that they're all, like, anthropomorphic animals. But it's, it's a cute game. And it actually makes use of all the different species. Anyways, before we do anything else, there's a shell here. We're going to need that later. Alright, so let's just talk to our aunt over here. I forget if it actually mentioned she's our aunt yet. Wait, what? So yeah, we're all the way out here in the country near Hawk Peak, but there's no cell phone reception. And the only place that does have cell phone reception is the very top of a mountain. So, I guess we're heading up to Hawk Peak. But yeah, seems pretty simple to get up there. Just follow the path and follow the signs. Also, it's important to talk to people multiple times. Sometimes they have a lot of things to say. Ooh, hot springs sound good. Also, yeah, sounds like it's a pretty important phone call that we're going to be hiking up to uh, try to receive. Now, it is also true. Cell phone reception is a very good thing. Alright, but I think that's all the dialogue we can get from her. Yep, she's repeating herself now. Alright, let's go. Time for a short hike up a mountain. So yeah, if we just hit A, we can do a little jump. And get yelled at by little kids. But yep, since uh, Claire is a bird, she can actually glide around. Which is going to be pretty important to get to certain areas of the mountain. Okay, yeah, I don't need to talk to him multiple times. Alright, but yep, we can glide pretty much anywhere. As we glide, though, we do slowly lose height, so it's good to go start from a high place. Also, we got money over here. We'll be using money for other things later. So, uh, let's just start following the trail and get up to the mountain. So, yeah, this game is all about exploration and just looking around and doing all the little activities around the little island that we're on. And, being demand and having people demand items from us. Alright, well... You want 15 shells? I'll try to collect 15 shells. She is very pushy. Whoops. Alright, let's go. Also, we got a stick. We can swing it. That's pretty much all we can do with it. The stick isn't going to be that important. But yeah, we'll be collecting various items throughout our trek too, just to do different activities. Also, there's a little dog here. I guess. And we got ourselves a compass. So yeah. Unfortunately there is no in-game map as far as I know. So this compass is actually going to be pretty helpful. I think we're currently in the north west or northeastern part of the mountain. Uh, Where's the compass? There we go. So it should be on. It's not on. There we go. Now it's on. 
So, we now know which way is north. Alright, let's go. Ooh, treasure chest. And we got some cash. So, like I said, cash is going to be pretty important later on. Also, Claire can swim. There are certain areas in the in the uh, ocean that we're going to want to get to at some point. But for now, let's just get back to the path. I believe we can go this way. Yep, there we go. Also, one second. I'm going to turn down the music. Of, eh, nah, it's fine. Okay. And then I think that's the guy we just talked Yeah, that's just the guy we talked to. Also, there's a little uh, X over, or a little star over here. It's kind of like Animal Crossing in that we're going to need to find a shovel if we want to dig whatever is here. Maybe we can find a shovel at some point. Oh, there's a shovel. Can I have your shovel? Man, isn't it, yeah, isn't it a bit big to build sandcastles with? Alright, so yeah, we're going to need to find him a small shovel if we want his uh, normal shovel. Okay, so we'll keep an eye out for that for now. I uh, got some more cash. There's a shell up there. Can we get it? Yeah, I think we can get it. Pretty sure if we just glide from up here. There we go. This is fine. Sometimes the uh, perspective is a bit weird for some of these jumps. There's no way to die in this game at least. Ooh, I see another shell. That's uh, our fourth shell, I believe. Yep, four shells. We need 11 more. And we just stole someone's money. That's fine. I'm gonna smack this ball around a bit. Hopefully nobody wanted that. And then this is just, yeah, that just goes back the way we came. Let's see what else is going on around here. Oops. All right, so Hawk Peak is up north. You know what? Let's go to the beach first. We don't have to make our way directly to Hawk Peak. We can explore the island a bit. See what else is going on around here. Like these two. But I thought it was a short hike. I love this guy, by the way. He is very passionate. Uh, sure. We'll learn how to rock climb. No, all my feathers so far are black. Ow. Alright, so yeah, we're going to need to get some golden feathers before we can learn how to rock climb. The visitor center is around here according to that sign. Okay. Alright, so yeah, we've already seen a couple of things that have been buried in the sand, or in the island. But we're gonna need a shovel before we can dig anything up. Whoops. Also, yeah, that seems like a big oversight on Jim's part. What else you got for me? Alright, Outlook Point. Ooh. Sounds like there's a mysterious island out somewhere in the, uh, ocean. Anything else? No, that's it. Okay. Anything down here? No, not yet. We are going to explore the ocean at some point, but not right now. Uh, is there anything over here we can grab? Yes, there is. Always good to look into every little nook and cranny. Oh, whoops. It's fine. We're okay. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. So we're looking for the visitor visitor center, which is right here. We'll explore Shirley's point in later. Uh, let's see if we can get ourselves some golden feathers before I forget. Forty coins. Um, sure, we have enough money for that. And we got ourselves our first golden feather. Also, our shirt is red now. Because. So yeah, golden feathers are the key collectible in this game. They let us double jump and they let us climb. Basically, they're our stamina meter. The more golden feathers we have, the better. Okay, do you have any more? Yeah, okay, I need more money. Alright, so once we have more money, we'll come back and get more golden feathers. Also, do you have anything else you sell? Ooh, a hat. A hundred coins. Yeah, we can't buy that yet. We have 13. So yeah, once we have more money, we'll be back. But now that we have a golden feather, we can double jump. And we can... Cl Actually, I'll climb late. Yeah, we can climb. Basically, all we need to do is jump at a wall and hold A. That being said, with only one golden feather, we have absolutely no stamina. Also, that's the reason our shirt turned red. Once we run out of stamina, it goes back to blue. So it's a good, it's a good way to just tell if you were out of stamina or not. And as long as you land, all your stamina just recovers really quickly. So, now that we have a golden feather, can we join your club? Yep. Oh, whoops. Alright, well, let's climb the big wall. But this is actually important. It's a lot less taxing to climb rather than fly. So if there's something high up, we want to try climbing there before we start double jumping all the way up. Alright, sounds like they're heading up to Hawk Peak, or to uh, Peak of Hawk Peak 2. I said peak a lot there. Alright, let's see what else is around here. So yeah, we're gonna need some more golden feathers before we head up there, definitely. Uh, the sign did say that Shirley's point is to the south. Let's go take a look there. Ooh, I like marathons. No, I don't. Marathons are exhausting, and I've never really done one before. Okay. This is true. You definitely want to never overlook hydration. Alright. Anyways, I do see a shovel here, though. Let's go see if we get ourselves a big shovel with that. And more shells. Ooh, money. I need money. Whoops. Alright, so we're going to need 40 for another golden feather. And 100 for a hat. The hat is obviously the most important thing, and we need to have it. It looks like... The sun? Oh, so it is the coastline. Okay. It's kind of hard to tell when it's that, like, pixelated. Alright, so Blackwood Forest Lighthouse. Alright, maybe we'll see her, him there later. But yeah, right now we just don't have the stamina to climb up that far yet. We'll come back later when we, we have like another golden feather or two. Alright, so before I forget, I'm gonna ret or retreat. I'm gonna backtrack a bit. Let's get that big shovel. Whoop. There he is. Hi, Mr. Frog Guy. Can I have your shovel now? There we go. We got ourselves a shovel. Alright, so let's have that equipped. So now we can dig. Alright, have fun with your sandcastles. No, unfortunately, we cannot dig up his sandcastles. That would be really mean. Alright, but now that we have a shovel, we can start digging in spots like this. 
Let's see what's hidden under there. Money. Money hidden, is hidden under there. Nice. Actually, before we head back towards the uh, visitor center, is there anything else up here that we can grab? Don't see anything. Nah, nothing else up here. And then we can't climb up there yet. We don't have enough golden feathers. Let's head back to the path. Oh wait, I do see a chest over here though. Oh, we have 40 gold now. Uh, we should go buy ourselves another golden feather in a second. So yeah, this is the path up to Hawk Peak, but... It's going to start requiring some climbing soon, so we're not going to head up to Cock Peak yet. Instead, I think we're going to try to slowly make our way up. Instead, we're just going to explore the entire coastline first and then start heading up. Oh, wow. He got really productive really quickly with the sandcastles. Alright, but we have enough money for another feather now. Where is the center? There it is. But yep, there's a lot of forests and beaches around here. Ooh, that sounds... I don't know how that sounds, but I don't know if I want to try it. Anyways. Oh, is it 5 p.m. already? Wow, we started late in the day. Yeah, if we're going to hike up to a mountain, we should probably start, like, in the morning. Oh, well. It's supposed to be a pretty short hike, so I guess it doesn't really matter. And it's summer, so we have, like, another, what, four hours of sunlight left? And we got toast. Because why not? Also, can I get another golden feather? Thank you. And that's all they have for now. All right. Fortunately, they're all over the island, so we'll find some eventually. All right. We'll come back for the hat later once we have the money. Speaking of golden feathers, there is one right here. So like I said, they're all over the island. Uh, what else is around here? Anything I can grab? Looks like a little old trailer home over here. It is 5 p.m. Alright, so we find a watch out there. We'll just deliver it back to this guy. We don't have cell phone reception, so we can't sell it on the internet quite yet. Alright, oop. But yep, it's 5.11. Both in-game and in real life. So yeah, actually the in-game clock reflects the uh, computer clock. So right now it's about 5.11 when I'm recording this. Totally did that on purpose and I totally didn't forget about the strawberries and toast thing. Definitely. Uh, let's see, what else is around here? Got a nice little pond up here. Ooh, uh, there's a chest down here. Whoop, no, 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 don't fall. Actually, no, no, do fall. I kind of want to explore the uh, lower areas before I go up. Oh. Okay. Can't go that way. I forget if there is a way to go through there. So we never actually made it to Shirley's point. No, wait, no, no, wait. We did make it to Shirley's point. But there was a chest over there we couldn't get before. Oh, okay, yeah, I guess I see the coastline now. Like, that, yeah, the yellow part's supposed to be the sand and the gray part's the ocean. Okay, so it sounds like he's heading out. Uh, got some more cash. Nice. Alright, what else is around here? What's to the, uh... Okay, that's more of the Hawk Peak Trail. Yeah, there are multiple trails up to Hawk Peak. Let's just keep going this way, then. We talked to you already, right? 
Yeah, we did. What do we got here? Money? Money. Ooh, I see more money. You know what? Let's just go off the trail for a bit and just explore the beach. Got another shell. I see more money. And we've hit a dead end. I could just swim along the coast of the island. And I think I will. This might have been a mistake. Nope, here we go. We found land. Uh, what do we got here? More cash. Yeah, most of the chests around here just contain cash. So right now, I believe we're in the north... ...western part of the island? Yeah, northwestern part of the island. So far, not very much on this part. Eventually, we'll hit uh, where we just left off. Another stick. We have three sticks now. And another shell. Uh, that's nine, right? Yeah, that's nine. Oh, looks like we found another path. What's over here? Oh, whoops. Oh, we have enough for a hat now. So next time we're at the visitor center, I'll get myself another hat. Oh, we found a graveyard. And a beach. Hi there. Oh, maybe don't advertise that part. Okay, fine. They're not going to return the chair. Okay, beach stick ball it is. Okay, so in order for this to actually play this, we do need a stick. Fortunately, we have a lot of sticks. And even if we didn't, there is a stick right here. Alright, let's do this. So it is literally just volleyball with a stick. Like, it's pretty simple. All right, let's go. Also, the hit detection in this game is pretty generous. So the goal is, I believe we want to hit the ball around 50, or keep it in the air by uh, 15 hits. I forget if this game actually does get harder or not. I think it does get faster. Also, your angle doesn't matter. As long as you hit it, it counts. But yeah, like, oh, there, oh, we screwed that one up. And you can't lose this game. It's all about the high score. Also, don't pop the ball. That makes everyone lose. I don't want to know how you pronounce a hyphen in co-op. Unless he's saying coop game. I think we hit 15 points. Yeah, we did hit 10 points. We hit 22. Nice. And we get a golden feather for doing that. And we got 50 coins. Nice. Oh. Okay, I don't feel bad about it anymore. But yeah, I don't think there's anything else we could uh, get from this game, is there? I think 20 is the maximum. I like it. It's a fun little mini game. Okay. Let's keep exploring. I think we'll maybe look around a little more before we end the episode. But, uh, we're about to hit the graveyard, so I guess we'll take a look around here. 
Yeah, I think we are in the northwestern part, and it's raining. And it stopped raining immediately. Okay. Is there anything else around here? But yeah, we'll probably come back to this area later once we have more golden feathers and some more tools. Is there anything up here we can grab? Eh, not really. Not with only four golden feathers. Doesn't look like there's anything really around here. Whoop. But man, the weather changes really quickly on this island. It goes from sunny to rainy in like two seconds. I see money. Ooh, I see more money. I see something. I think I can make it. Yep, I can make it. What do we got here? Parkour! Oh, parkour race, I guess. Alright, finish line at the abandoned building. Alright, well, if we find Avery, we can challenge him to a parkour race. Does it count as parkour when we can fly? That seems like it's a bit cheating. Oh well. Let's keep going along the beach. I think we've actually hit the northernmost part of the island now. Yeah, we've hit the northernmost most, uh, part, I think. And it looks like we got some... Ooh, treasure chest. It looks like we've got some power lines up here, too. Hopefully we don't hit those when we're flying around the island. Actually, I don't think we can hit those while we're flying around the island. And a few pickaxes. That'll be happy. That'll be happy. That'll be helpful if we ever need to dig anything up or break anything. In fact... What happens if we just break open this? I'll tell you what. Shortcut. So yeah, we're all the way back here now. Actually, while we're here... Let's grab a hat. We have a hat now. It does absolutely nothing, but it's a hat. And it's adorable. Alright, and with that, I think it's a good place to uh, end this episode. So, next time on Let's Play A Short Hike, we're going to continue exploring the coastline a bit more before we start climbing up to Hawk Peak. So, till then. <laughs>